Okay, so I was going to um go live tonight, but then now I just decided that I'm just going to do a pre-recorded um, video. But um, first things first, those of you who are following the NFL draft, the Eagles got Devontae Smith, wide receiver out of Alabama. Good pick for them. It gives Jalen Hurts some weapons. You know, I didn't think that he was going to be available at number 10, and I didn't really want the Eagles to take a wide receiver in the draft because they have just failed on so many wide receivers in the past. So shout out to Devontae Smith. Shout out to the Eagles. Howie Roseman actually did the right thing by drafting the best player in the draft instead of trying to outsmart himself. So shout out to them. Eagles made a good pick. Um, I think round two will be um, tomorrow. Now, I'm just going to hit hot and heavy tonight. Videos entitled just random thoughts because I have a lot that it needs to be said. Now, I haven't been on here a lot. I think I did a video with the Makaya Bryant situation and everything like that. So this is just random thoughts. You know, I have a lot to talk about. There's a whole lot of what's going on. First, I think last week, Derek Chauvin, he was found guilty of all three counts. Second degree murder. I think he got manslaughter and then unintentional murder. Um, the jury trial, I mean, the sentencing hearing is going to be in about a, a couple weeks. So... But Derek Chauvin was convicted of all three counts of murder. Well, all three charges, he was second degree murder, manslaughter. And I forgot the other count. But what disturbed me a little bit is I see black people going out in the streets celebrating like they won a championship, like they won a Super Bowl. And that really disturbed me because at the end of the day, George Floyd is not coming back. George Floyd is still dead. George Floyd is not coming back. It's a victory for their family because they finally, it's closure. Now we'll see what the sentencing hearing in a few weeks and see what happens with that. But it's justice for them and it's a victory for them. But everybody else, you know, people dancing in the street, cutting dance moves and everything like, oh yeah, we're finally free. Derek Chauvin was convicted. Okay. He was convicted. Here, and this is, and black people, they just love celebrating. Like any little victory they get, we just dance in the street, having parades, having barbecues of something that should be done in the first place. He should have been convicted of murder. He should have been charged. He should be locked up because that video was disgraceful. It was a disgrace, a sickening display of what I saw in that video for nine minutes and 28 seconds of a cop literally just, you know, kneeling and just squeezing the life out of this man for the whole world to see. And, and, and let me, and let me tell you this, and let me tell you this, because you have people all over the place from Candace Owens and some other people. And they were saying he wasn't this upstanding citizen. He wasn't a good guy. He had issues. He did this and did that. Okay. Yeah. Was George Floyd a angel? No. George Floyd wasn't an angel. But George Floyd was somebody's brother, was somebody's father, was somebody's, um, a, that little girl lost her father. And, and, and this, this, is the, this is the instance. Just because somebody has a past history or somebody does things that are 
are despicable, does things that, you know, shouldn't have been done. I, I saw what he did. I'm not going to go in and on this video. Okay. So just because they do something that's against the law or done something that's he gets arrested and this guy was getting out of jail trying to change or just because he was on fentanyl or just because he did drugs or whatever. It is more that he deserved to die. So let me get this straight. So if you commit a crime in your life, you deserve to die, basically. I, I want you. I want the people that sit there and say, "Well, George Floyd wasn't no saint. George Floyd was a piece of crap, or whatever he was." I want you to sit there. I want you to answer this question: Just because he committed a crime, uh, um, the cops have the right to kill him. It gives the cops all okay to just kill him because he was a piece of crap. He deserved to die. The little girl doesn't deserve to have a father. So anybody that so. Trayvon Martin, well, he smoked weed. He deserved to die. Um, Michael Brown, he had a history. He deserved to die. Okay, Dante Wright stole a car. He deserves to die. Now, I want you to sit there and answer that. And I want everybody to have that same energy when it comes to everybody else. That, that's all. Because we 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 love to play Monday morning quarterback. Oh, he wasn't. A lot of people have issues. Everybody's not a saint, but just because they're not a saint doesn't mean that they deserve to die at the hands of cops. And just because oh you don't comply, that gives the cops a right to kill somebody because you don't comply. So the cops get to decide whether you live or die that day. Okay. It gives the cops the right to just sit there and decide, okay, you live, you die. And this is why a lot of black people, they don't like police. And I'm just going to go out there and say it. They, they can't stand it. They have an attitude when it comes down to them. Because when you call the cops on somebody, it could be your last time calling the cops. You could be the one end up killed on that day. Now, it takes me to Micaiah Bryant. Okay. It takes me to... But first, I want to talk about this. Before I get to Micaiah Bryant, I was going to... Like I said, I'm all over the place. Because I was going to do a live. But now this is... I'm recording this live. Because I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to cut things out. This is live. All right. I see a lot of people online, on social media, crying about racism, crying about white supremacy, crying about this, crying about that. Okay? Cry, cry, cry. Oh, it's racist. He did this. It's a, I think it's a lot of victim blame in here. Everybody wants to be a victim. My question is this. Things are going, if you do not do anything about a problem, the problem is going to continue to happen. The problem's going to continue to happen. And the reason why the problem's going to continue to happen because we want to be professional victims for the rest of our life. We don't want to stand up and fight for anything. Okay? You know, and, and let's get to the, the Joe Biden thing. Because Joe Biden, you know, I already knew what he was coming into here. Joe Biden did not do a thing for black people yet. When he first got in there, he did something for the immigrants. He first got in there, got a hate crime bill for Asians. But what about a hate crime bill um, for black folks? What about that? See, Ro see, Roland Martin is all pro Joe Biden. He's caping for him. But he doesn't say anything about what he has done for black people. He hasn't done anything. But this is what we do. We take ourselves out there and we go vote and we go do whatever we want to do. We vote. Um, people uh, dancing out in the streets saying you should vote for Joe Biden. And, and let's face it. The only reason why most of y'all voted for Joe Biden because you couldn't stand Donald Trump. 
The reason why y'all voted for Joe Biden because y'all because Donald Trump was racist. That's why y'all voted for Joe Biden. That's exactly why y'all voted for Joe Biden. But you did not demand a thing that Joe Biden to for Joe Biden to do. You didn't demand anything. Oh yeah, I got your back. We got this. What he ain't doing that. He got Asians back. Okay. See, if you want something done, you need to go out of your way to say, listen, if you don't end qualified immunity, if you don't promise to end qualified immunity, if you don't promise to do something specifically for black people, then we're not voting for you. Black people should be out holding a rally and saying to Joe Biden, saying, you know what? We don't like Donald Trump, but Joe, you need to do something for us. And if we're not, if you're not going to promise us anything, if you're going to promise other groups anything, we are not going to vote for you. It's going to be another four years of Donald Trump in office. That's what y'all should have done. But y'all didn't do that. Y'all just went ahead and voted for him because, like I said, the media likes to put scare tactics. They like to scare you. They like to say, well, four more years of Trump, this country's going down, this country's going to hell, and Y'all listen to what the news media is saying. Y'all went out and voted. Now, I'm not saying that I will vote four more years of Trump. Because Trump didn't do anything for made the COVID situation worse. Um, Has Biden done a little better with the COVID situation, get, getting the vaccines out? Okay, you can say that he's done things to get the COVID vaccine out. But I'm talking about specifically for black people. He hasn't done anything. And then was the one to sit there and tell you, if you didn't vote for him, then you're not black. But y'all just sat there and gave him a pass for that. Y'all gave him a pass. And this is why people don't respect us. Because you will go out and you will support everybody else. You will support their cause. I'm not saying you shouldn't support their causes. But are they supporting your cause? Are Asians standing up for black lives when they're getting shot down the street by cops, black people that are unarmed? Are they going out there doing that? Or any other, you know, they're not going out there doing that. But yeah, we go to the Chinese store and and, and put up with their mess. We go to their beauty supply stores and put up with their, with their mess. That's what we do. It's like we don't want to demand anything. We're scared to stand up for something. We just sit there and say, well, this is just what it is. But you're not doing anything about it. And all the other groups are passing you by because you're scared to stand up. You're scared of a little confrontation. Well, you know what? Sometimes confrontation is needed. But y'all, some of y'all are scared of confrontation. just the way it is. I mean, this is what it is. Now, Joe Biden done, done something for Asian people. And Asians all over Joe Biden. And, and he's and it's not, I'm not saying he shouldn't do anything for Asian people. He's doing stuff for everybody else. But we ain't getting nothing in return. And this is what's going on for forever. And I don't stake my whole life in politicians anyway because they what they are. They're politicians. But we have the power and we don't use the power. Now this brings me to Micaiah Bryant. Micaiah Bryant got into a scuffle with one of uh, one of the girls in, in the neighborhood. You know, she called the cops. The cops came over, told her to stop. She had a knife. Cops Put four bullets in the chest. Put four bullets in the heart. Now. The way that cop did that. It was unacceptable. 100% unacceptable. You know. You have black people going online. Black people talking about. Oh he's a hero. And this that and the third. At the end of the day. Nobody's a hero. At the end of the day. Someone lost their life that day. 
because she was feeling threatened and she was feeling attacked. But, you know, you got certain people that, you know, they will love to be around white, love white folks so much that they got to agree with them because they don't want to get attacked by them, by the, the mother one. So they'll sit there and, you know, side with them and say, yeah, you did. They was right to kill her, but she was the one that called the cops. Here's the thing that I have an issue with. The cop shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have taken her life, could have shot her in the leg, could have wounded her. She lost her life that day. Here was what could have prevented that situation. If you had responsible adults that handle this problem. You don't have responsible adults handling this situation and, and, and somebody ended up dead. Now everybody pissed off. And then LeBron James says accountability to the cop that killed him. And that brings me to my next point. Accountability. Accountability. Because black people, sometimes we don't want to take accountability. We want to blame every little situation on white folks. We're late for work. It's the white man's fault. My car broke down. It's a white man's fault. You know where I'm going. I'm being sarcastic. So don't, you know, I don't need no hate in the comments. Say, oh, it's not like that. Stop. When you do stupid things, you get stupid prizes. I'm going to say this again. When you do stupid things, you get rewarded with stupid prizes. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that Micaiah Wright deserved to die. Eventually, she was being attacked. But the adults should have gotten involved. It says you, it should have been responsible of us saying, you know what? You ain't coming in this house. You gonna get through me before you get to her. So let's go. You want to come out? You want to sit there and want to go through her? You're going to come through me at the end of the day. And nobody did that. Nobody was adult enough to stop the problem. Nobody was adult enough to not do anything about it. So now the cops are called. And you know how the cops are when it comes to black people. They shoot first and they ask questions later. Stop calling the cops if it's not worthy of calling the cops, the only time you should call the cops is if somebody's on the ground bleeding and you need a medical attention or call an ambulance. Stop calling the cops because if you call the cops, somebody's going to end up dead. And that situation could have been prevented if you have responsible adults taking care of the situation. Okay, and I was watching a video yesterday. Okay, and the individual said, and and this is, and this is where I part ways with this one. Okay, when it comes to black media or people talking on YouTube, if somebody within the community harms another person within the community, you should be quiet. You should shut the hell up. You should not say nothing at all. So basically, what that's being said is, okay, you can go out there and for somebody from the black community, harm another black person, harm a five-year-old kid, kill a five-year-old kid, kill a 65-year-old grandmother, kill a mother, kill an older elderly woman, and you say, you know what, don't you say anything about it. You be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't overlook it. Turn the other, turn, turn your head. So let let me get this straight. You have black people online saying that it's okay for black people to go out there and harm other black people, and they shouldn't be held accountable. You should blame a random white person for doing that. That's what I got out of that. 
You talk about you want to sit there, you want to fight racism, you want to fight white supremacy, you want to fight all this, but you can't even sit there and fix the problems in your own community, but you're trying to fight another situation. You can't even fight the problems in your own community. And then the saying is, well, I don't want white folks to, to listen. Why? It, it, this is, and, and this is what gets me. Why do people care what white folks think about them? Why do y'all care? Y'all so worried about, oh, well, I don't want the white folks listening and watching my channel because you go, oh, they don't want to report the stuff on the news. So as a black media person or as a black journalist online with all the black YouTube content creators, we should have a responsibility to call out some, our people when we're doing something wrong. But we don't want to call that out. We give them a pass to say it's okay to go harm your own people. But as long as a white person doesn't do it, it's so you can go harm anybody. That's what you're saying. And your sons and your daughters' lives don't matter as much them being killed by their own, but it matters a lot if it's killed by another group of people. Do you know how backwards that sounds sometimes? Do you know how backwards that is? Because you're so worried about what white folks think. I think some of y'all scared of white folks so much. In Philly alone, teenagers are getting gunned down. Five-year-old kids getting shot in the back of the head. You just had a, um, a, a man walking with his girlfriend. Four guys got out of a van with semi on the mags and put pump bullets in his chest. There was no up war in the community with that. You had a mother out there screaming, hollering, with her son laying dead in the street. And nobody said, and nobody made a video about that. But his life doesn't matter. His life ain't nothing because it was done by his own. To me, anybody that does that loses credibility. Because you don't care about black people like that. All you do is care about to make you make you care about your own. You care about your own um, agenda. You have your own agenda. You don't care about black people like that. You care about benefiting off of racist things done. Something I that's what y'all care about. It keeps y'all making YouTube content. Okay, so let's try to find something that racist or that somebody did. I'll make a video about that because it keeps it going. And y'all get to thrive off of that because there's another video that you can make and it's going to generate revenue and get paid. Some of y'all don't even care about the black community like that. There's a little girl that was shot in Texas, I think a couple years ago. Everybody was out in the street. Everybody was protesting out in the street. But when it came to find out that a black person did it, you didn't hear nothing about it. Hey, nothing about it. Not a, not a single thing. It was like it never happened. So, you're okay with black people harming another person, being savages in your own community. And there was a former YouTuber out there, his name was Jay Miller, he, I don't think he's on there anymore, but he used to call that out and people were calling him names, calling him a sellout. Oh, you can't talk about that. Why not? What, you're okay with your own killing your own? You glorify that? You advocate that? Some of y'all don't care about black people like that. Some of y'all only out here making videos because you profit off of that. Some of y'all profit off of other black death. Y'all profit off of that. Because you can get people riled up. I 
I challenge anybody that's a black content creator that's on YouTube to come out there and, con and, and say, you know what? We need to stop the savagery in our community. Yeah, we dealing with white supremacy. We dealing with racism. We dealing with cops shooting us in the back, shooting us in the heart. For no yeah, we can talk about all that. Look, I have no problem talking about all that. Or the Karens out there harassing black people. Yeah, we can talk about all that. But when you have black people out there, savages in the community, harming one another, killing five-year-old girls, girls' bodies being found at home, a 16-year-old boy being shot in the head, an 11-year-old boy being being shot in the head while he's opening the door. These stories are real, but nobody wants to talk about that because in, in their minds, it don't exist. It doesn't exist. And if you're not saying anything about the gun violence in the communities, then you don't care about black people. And yeah, I said it, and I will stand by what I said. I don't want to hear that, well, we need to do that behind the scenes. We need to do that. No, 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 no. Stop being afraid of what other groups think of you and call it out. And if they come trying to indulge in your business, you sit there and say, ho, oh, hold up. It's got nothing to do with you. I, don't, I didn't ask for your two cents. Unless you're going to do something about it, stay out of it. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This is our business. I didn't ask for your input. Worry about your own. And don't come over here with your two cents. That's how you do it. Sometimes we need to take care of home first. We need to check our people within. And then you deal with everything else. But you got to take care of home first. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, um, notifications in the... And I'll hit the um, bell with the notifications to give you updates on more videos. Truth TV, I'm out.